Oh my god, this hand is almost unplayable. That's not a bad hand. It's all monsters. I don't even think we beat the starter decks, in all honesty. Don't know how we're outing that. What is a deck? A collection of cards that is an extension of the player? A tool used to win tournaments? A reflection of oneself? What gives a deck meaning? The individual cards? The number of victories? Or what about the will to never give up? Does a deck inherently possess meaning? Or do we as players assign meaning to the deck? Can we create meaning from nothing? What if we created a new Master Duel account, ignored the starter decks, and restricted the account to the minimum amount of Master Packs possible to create a legal, although not necessarily playable deck of 40 main deck cards and throw ourselves into ranked? If we somehow miraculously defeat an opponent, we can upgrade our deck with one additional Master Pack. Can we achieve something like this in Master Duel that only a masochist would try? I guess there's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel Masochist. I thought we were so close when we actually were able to summon the fucking Manticore. And so close, yet so far. Does this add Power Bond? Oh, I know he has Sidra. We're just screwed here. Yeah, we're, we're, we're literally just dead. Okay. All right, next. Well, at least that one was fast. I really hope that there's skill-based matchmaking within the ranks themselves. Oh, this guy's the Sprite Sprite. That's fantastic. Sure, I'll go second. Why not? Oh, even better, Sword Soul. You can just summon this. You literally just pass. If you pass, I can't out that card. <laughs> so dead. I I'm I'm not even there's no shot. There's no way. There, this is, I'm not even gonna entertain this. There's there's no shot. No way that's happening. Okay. Okay, ideal conditions. They have the rescue rabbit mate. They have the basic card case. Everything appears to be that this is a noob. Please have a 57 card deck. Let me see, 35, okay. They might just be playing with the starter deck in that case. I don't even think we beat the starter decks in all honesty. I think we're, we're outclassed by the overpowered starter decks that have actual removal. Four playable monsters, though. That's at least an upside. Uh, 1,600. Why is it 1,600? And he's back row. I can at least defend against this. I have two 1,600 defenders. Anchor drill. Playable, but still useless. Okay, here's the move. Unless they have... A battle trick. They cannot clear the all-powerful GG. Now just don't have a monster with more than 1,600 attack points. And we're set. They'll get one eventually. But if we can summon Utgarda, oh, there's a chance. We have two 1,600 defenders. That is our win condition. Okay. Okay. All right. Don't want to get ahead of myself here. We survived that battle. If I get quick draw Synchron here, I can actually summon the Utgarda. Wait, can this summon, or do you, do you have to Cyber Dragon for this? If only your opponent controls the monster. Shit, that sucks. Okay, here's the play, here's the play. We set this, and we just pass. And as long as they don't have another monster with 60 or more than 1600 attack, we're fine, please, please. Okay, this does nothing. This only drains attack. That's fine, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Smashing ground! <laughs> Wait, that's good! That means we got the smashing ground out of the way for the Utgarda. Oh my God, they still can't clear it. Come on. 
There's a chance. There is a chance. I need quick draw Synchron off the top. Come on. I am begging you, game. I am begging you. Even if they out this, it's still quick draw Synchron off the top because we can summon this first. Quick draw Synchron. Quick, come on. Quick draw Synchron. That's not bad. I will take that. We have to go for it. There's hope. Okay. It can't be targeted either, which actually makes it kind of annoying to deal with. We have to take this thing out because this thing can actually modulate uh, stats. Of course, one of these back rows is going to be... Memory of an adversary on the... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I guess it's better that Utgarda didn't get taken. No way. Oh my god. I want to say maybe that was... No, this was even the best look. That's so embarrassing. Wow. I don't want to give up. Actually, I... The depressing part is they're going to get the fucking Manticore. And that sucks because Utgarda has the same stats as the Manticore. And then I can't kill the Manticore then. And there's no way that deck has more than only one smashing ground in it. I refuse to believe that. I'm also on the draw. So I can't deck them out if I go Utgarda defense mode. So they're going to get my thing at the end of my turn, which sucks. This is another 1600 point defender. But the problem is they're going to be able to actually take care of it because they're going to get my thing. I guess I just wall up anyway because I'm dead regardless. So we'll just, we'll just set these... Hope they forget about memory of an adversary, even though it might be mandatory for them to resolve it. Excellent. They took the bait. That's not true. That card's actually kind of good. Oh, that is a mandatory effect. Oh, now the Blade Knight's pumped anyway. Oh, this is a good card. I mean, we're not dead here. Oh, that's cute. He's going to send a fire to make his Blade Knight 2k. That's funny. We're not dead yet. Oh, it's a link. I, for a second, I was like, are, like, are they on Obelisk or some shit? Yeah, okay, now we're toast. Uh, not true, actually. We're not toast. We could still maybe ride this Udgarda to victory in defense mode. There is a chance. Quick draw. That's not going to do it. All right, uh, we're basically dead here. I'm just going to concede. They need any monster, so whatever. Could have maybe gotten one more turn out of it, but... Woo! That... Memory of an adversary. That fucking sucked. Welcome to Master Duel. Population, fuck you. We are 0-8, and, and we are not looking like we are getting anywhere anytime soon when our opponent looks like that. Oh, fuck. Well, we get to go... Maybe we... Whatever. We'll go second. I, I still think going second is correct. I guess if we go first, we can possibly set a card and then get... The hazy flame out? Oh, we're dead. We're, we have no chance. Is that the mutant card? Yeah, there, there's no way this is happening. You know what the problem is? We haven't seen our best card in all the games that we've played. Not that it's likely. We only have one of it. But it's just an observation. I suppose I should have thought about this scenario. That doesn't count, right? I think I'd want that to count, but yeah, that doesn't count. Okay, I guess we rank up, which is fun. Twice. See, now it just like doesn't feel special because that happened. That's so depressing. All right, we went up a rank, but uh, now we're just gonna get our ass kicked even more because now we're not even gonna play the people that suck. I don't think that shit counts. I... I... <laughs> 
It look. It's a victory, but like, was it an earned victory? I feel like that's like a cheap victory. And honestly, when we get to later ranks anyway, it's not really gonna count. So yeah, hell no. Uh, we're just gonna go here. We're getting back in. All right, this is what I like to see. All right, that's four monsters, although one of them has zero attack. I don't know, maybe I should be going first. We'd actually need cards that do things though. What could we do? Set this. We had the other guy sack both for this. Okay, that's a promising start. Okay, that's an interesting one. We don't need Yagen yet. I think we go with our big booty 2K Defender Magnet Warrior, and maybe that's good enough. Clearly they have something that they can use here, but let's see where this goes. I'm not feeling super optimistic. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> let me think about this. So if I'm a lunatic, I right now have the ability to summon this quick draw Synchron and then sack both it and my Magnet Warrior for what is arguably the strongest card in our deck. Is this card going to survive? I want to say no, but I feel like we don't really have much of a choice, especially if you're considering we're probably never gonna have another opportunity to do this. So I say we go for it. Let's get the White Prince out of here because that card is actually just useless to us. Let's see if they have a response. I, I, I'd i be shocked if we even make it to the fact that we could summon this thing. Well, we got Max C out of their hand. Joke's on them. We're not special summoning anymore. All right. Uh, never thought I'd be saying this. I'm going to tribute summon Quick Draw Synchron and Gamma the Electromagnetic Warrior for Amnesia, the Ogdodatic Queen. No way this survives. No shot. Infinite impermanence on the Amnesia. Oh, please. Waste all your cards. That's perfectly fine. I imagine there's going to be something else in my future. Or not. All right. Uh, right. Let's see what happens. Shineball. Imper Maxi Shine Ball. Are they playing like bad agents? I mean, they could be. They could just be playing agents. Maybe there's a chance. As long as they can't get to Hyperion, I feel pretty good about this. And if they're setting Shine Ball pass and they got nothing else going on, we have to ride this Amnesia to victory. Oh, <gasps> pass, pass! Oh my God, we can win this in two turns. That card's useless. Doesn't matter. We have to go for it. We literally win in two turns. All right, Egghead. <sighs> don't have anything. Please don't have anything. Please don't have anything. P tell me it's just all like meta relevant stuff that doesn't stop attacks. Shrouding Mirror Force, no! <laughs> Why are you playing that shit? Come on! Oh, no! That's such bullshit. You're playing ev every other card this person's playing is like a good card, and they're on drowning fucking Mirror Force. Are you kidding me? That's the Master Duel special right there. Unfucking believable Yeah, go ahead, buddy. I'm sure you could have, like, probably killed me already, and you just wanted to, like, Drowning Mirror Force me for my life. Maybe they didn't have an out. They just set that card for turn. Maybe they didn't have a way to kill it. Well, if anything, they just have their life points, which, funny enough, was almost as much damage as we were going to do to them. What are they doing? Their deck is as bad as ours. They just saw him, like, normal summon the deck. 
Oh, this is bad. Wow, they really actually did not have much. Until they drew that map, there was not a lot they had going on. That's crazy. They can link again. This makes sense why they're on the Shine Ball now. They're just straight up on World Chalice. Go for Aurum or whatever his name is. Passing. Well, funny enough, I don't know how I'm getting over this thing. I can kill the Link Spider. That's not an issue. I guess I just try to get some damage in. Run into whatever, like, matter of nonsense that uh, they have. Oh, it connects. Okay. Didn't think we'd get that far. Sad part is it's still not enough to clear this thing. Not even Yagen's good against this. Honestly, my best case scenario is that they link this off, and then I can Yagen bounce whatever they link into. I want to say that counts. Like, if it's the first turn of a game, and like... <laughs> If it's the first turn of a game and they surrender, that's one thing. But, like, we were mid-game. They were down significantly in life points. Not that it really mattered, but this this is going to set the precedent. If I say that this counts, then anytime we're in a game that... I think that game could have gone either way still. They could have just fucking bricked. Because, I mean, the, the, to be fair, their hand had a bunch of cards that had nothing to interact with our board. So they could have just been drawing stuff like that. Did they have, like, one Link Spider and they can't, like, do anything else? Honestly... I'm probably going to need all the help I can get. So you know what? Fuck it. We take the victory. That was actually a game that we played. Uh, we got to summon a two-tribute monster that almost beat face if it wasn't for fucking Drowning Mirror Force. I'm taking it. I don't care. I'm going to take my rank up into Bronze 5. This is where the real games are going to start anyway. Opening ourselves up one additional Master Pack because that is all we are allowed to earn for getting a singular win. So let's go to the shop. We're going to go to our master pack and let's open it. This is going to mean everything because please, please give me good cards. Please give me good cards. I am begging you. Two thirds of my deck right now is unplayable. Unplayable. I just need cards that I can actually replace with the cards that do nothing in my deck. Please. Please. Well, that's a normal summonable monster. So honestly, I will take that. Once per turn, this can't be destroyed by battle. That's actually not bad. Acid Trap Hole is a real card. Okay, okay. Trident is not actually. Is Dragoonity Legionnaire a tuner? Can we summon this? No shot. That that There's no way we could summon this. I'll have to check, but I don't think so. Spellbook of Eternity is a dead card to us. Elemental Hero Neos Knight, fantastic. Zodiac Whiptail's a monster, so I will take that. Nazuki the Valiant's Ninja, boo-boo game. Yeah, that about sums it up uh, for my first ever pack in the uh, Master Pack opening series. Well, we got a couple decent cards. I guess we can at least take out some of the really bad stuff for a few of these, but surely it's only gonna be uphill from here, right? You know, now that I think about it, I should probably open a legacy pack as well because the legacy packs have the entire other half of the card pool. Otherwise, you know, it would just be weird that we're really playing with half the card pool. So we'll do that. Uh, oh, I guess we can only open two. So I guess I think because I got that one win where my opponent just quit. Maybe that gave me a ticket because I think you get a ticket almost every single win. I think every time we win, we'll just come back here and I think we should only have one, but I don't think four cards is going to make or break us. So uh, let's do it. I w it's weird that you can't just purchase one pack, but that's fine. Uh, this should be good enough. At, uh, holy crap. Okay. Uh, I did not even mean to do this, but that's fine. Perform a pal card gardener. To be fair, at least this is something that we can actually summon as opposed to Steel Ogre Grotto number one, the LOB special. Uh, Beast Fangs, I, do we even have any beasts in our deck? Fairy Meteor Crush is actually a playable equip spell. So let's actually go into our deck and see if we can make a couple modifications.
Okay, so this is the modified version of the deck post one master pack. We had two legacy packs. We technically should have only had one because we had one win that wasn't really necessarily a win, but it's fine. And then we also got one card, I think, from winning one of those games that was just given to us as like a bonus. Uh, it was the Immortal of Thunder. I guess we'll play with this as well because otherwise it'd be really difficult to track like which of these cards I have or have not acquired. And uh, like, it's fine. Like, it, it's a 15 dude, which honestly, by our deck standards, is actually pretty fucking good. So, uh, I want to quickly talk about the adjustments, because there's actually a couple really funny things in here. So, the Immortal of Thunder is obviously a good pickup, just because it's another body, and 1500 isn't a terrible stat line. We also had stuff like Whiptail thrown into the deck as well, uh, and we also had the uh, Blackwing Gladius, because it actually has the ability to not be destroyed by battle once per turn, which helps us set up, like, a Manticore play. We have Performapal Card Gardener, which, honestly, like, I Again, just more bodies that we can summon that there's no downside to. I don't really think there's much that we can complain about there. The funny part comes in the form of our spells. Beast Fangs? We actually have two beast monsters, Gladiator Beast Dimakari and the Fabled Ganeshia, that actually can be equipped with Beast Fangs. And that makes them 1,900. Like, that's not terrible. And this is at least more playable than any other card that we have. Like, I'd rather play this than Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, which literally doesn't do anything. Uh, fair Fairy Meteor Crush could maybe also get in some damage as well if we stick something big, and so I figured that could be potentially useful. Same thing goes for Acid Trap Hole, just because this is actually a way to, I can't believe I'm going to say this, destroy a monster. The problem is it has to be a face-down defense position monster first. This is like 2002 tactics we're talking here, but... There have been a couple games where our opponent sets a monster first. So if we go first, set this, we can actually pop something and actually get it for a decent amount of damage. And then Boo Boo game is terrible, but it makes it so we don't take damage for a turn. Uh, so like, honestly, that's good enough for me. We'll see how it goes. It's a slight upgrade to the deck we had before, but uh, obviously we still have a long way to go. But I'm curious to see if any of these upgrades come up. Let's get into it. All right, first duel with the new deck. Anything is possible. We won the coin toss. You know what? I think we want to go first. If we can try to potentially set up a tribute summon of our Montecor, I think that's like maybe best case scenario. Maybe I'm being completely overly optimistic, but we also haven't seen the best card in our deck yet, which is the uh, the big core MK3 fucker. And I want to see how much work that card could put in. So burst rebirth or something. Tree Otter. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Horde of the Phantom Beast. And this is bad because now he gets to kill me and draw a card. That's pretty devastating. Did he not draw for the Phantom Beast? Oh, send it to the graveyard. It's a pendulum. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> He's going to pump this tree otter up. Oh, this is bad. Not my Immortal of Thunder. Oh my god, he really just did big march of the animal. <laughs> this card's actually so bad for us, because it's like we take 2,000 damage. I actually don't know if I should play this card. Oh no. I guess if we play it in attack mode, it's fine. <laughs> I just lost a Tree Otter beatdown. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I will say, it's nice having a hand of, like, all monsters. It, it's considering that just, like, doesn't happen very often. You know, all monsters minus Fairy Meteor Crush. I guess Gimmick Puppet Nightmare is actually a terrible card because it doesn't actually do anything. But at least it's a machine for our uh, Machina Cannon, I guess. We don't have enough good cards to take out uh, all of our tributes yet. Okay. Excellent. Useless card. Well, I mean, we're going to try to get in. All right, go, my egghead. Attack! No, my attack was negated! <laughs> uh, I, I, funny enough, I actually have the ability to use the effect of my egghead if I pitch the nightmare. Do I just do it to deal 800? I don't know what else I'm using this for. You know what? Screw it. We might never get a chance to do this again. If I actually had a rank 8, that would be funny. All right. We have dealt 800 damage. We are one-tenth of the way there. 
If he clears the egghead, we never get the opportunity to do that. So I have to do it now. Okay. You know, if they keep setting, they're going to... They're, they're going to run out of options eventually. As much as I want to not play into Torrential, I don't think I have a choice with this deck. So you know what? Oh, he has a response this time. This is bad. Fusion Reserve. Okay. That's fine. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to think about this. He just added the materials for Blue Eyes Ultimate. If I flip this Guard Dragon, this is 33. I up my damage to 38. And then this is actually a two-turn lethal. There's a huge difference with this deck between two turns for lethal and three turns for lethal. I think I just have to go for it. He has Mirror Force. He has Mirror Force. Okay. 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 That is maybe the most damage I've ever done. I, as much, I want to bluff that I have something, but like, I kind of want to make sure I keep Fairy Meteor Crush potentially, because if we have him this low, piercing could matter, but I, I kind of want to bluff him out too. Now, this is where he summons Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and we cry. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's just two. Okay, excuse me. It's just Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's much better. Oh my god. We got him down to 34. We were so close. Oh, man. And he can attack everything with Tyrant Dragon. I like how he's shrinking this. Yeah, like that's gonna do anything. Funny enough, if we draw Yagin, we can out this, but I, I think it's a little bit too late. Getting obliterated by Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. Unbelievable. I don't think we're dead. This isn't lethal. But we're out of monsters that offend ourselves, so we may as well be dead. Well. <laughs> Let it be known that 4,600 is... I believe the amount of damage we have to beat if we want to get ever closer to winning at all. Uh, he can't kill us? We're probably dead. Oh, that's from Graveyard. Okay, that's why he didn't add it the first time. He's just going for it. Yep, that's it. We're dead. <laughs> He's just going for it. Yeah, it's 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 done. We're, we're dead. <laughs> Oh, lost to Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. That's depressing. You know, I was going to say, at least we were actually playing some worthy opponents like Tree Otter Beatdown and the Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon deck. This guy has a sprite... Uh, Sprite blue. He's got all the custom stuff. This is not going to go well. Okay. You know what? We got Gladius and Manticore. That's like the FTK. So maybe it's good enough. Well, I uh, I, I guess we, we try. <laughs> That's all I can hope for. If I see a Sprite card, I will concede. That is not a Sprite card, but it is a level two. All right, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, once per turn, tribute a Magician Girl monster, except Lemon Magician Girl. Add a Spellcaster from deck to hand. Once per turn, this card's targeted for an attack. Special summon a Spellcaster from your hand. Effects are negated. Then change the attack target to it. And if you do, the attacking monster attack becomes half its current. That is very risky. So we do not want to attack this, is what I'm understanding. Now, the problem is this gives us an opportunity to actually go into our Manticore here. The problem is I don't exactly want to. So I think we just set again and we wait till they do something with this Lemon Magician girl. <laughs> Magic Karibo! It's so cute! Okay, they have two monsters on the field. Okay, another Manticore. Uh, does Magic Karibo do anything? If you took damage by a battle or opponent's card effect this turn, send this card from hand. Okay, blah, 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 blah. If a face-up spellcaster you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. So what you're saying is I can attack this. The problem is <laughs> there's a lot of things that can go wrong with that. I think we have to try it. 
It's a lot of damage that we can get in it. I do not want Immortal of Thunder flipping. Also, Manticore can't be targeted, which is just kind of an annoying thing that it can do. Yeah, screw it. Let's go for it. Okay, big damage. What is this? Dark Horizon? When you take battle or effect damage, especially like dark spell cast step from your deck of attack, less than or equal to the damage you took. Okay. If he summons a dark magician, we physically cannot out that. Magician's robe. That's not good. Yeah, we can't really do anything about the magician's robe, unfortunately. So now they summon dark magician, and now we lose the game. We, uh, we cannot out that. <laughs> God damn it. The only way we out this is if they get rid of it, and they're not going to. Hard tributed magician of dark illusion. That's hilarious. <laughs> you fool! It is my gladius! This card's actually really good for me. Giving me a whole nother turn to like set up. Okay. Uh, so we have no conceivable way of winning this. I just want to assert dominance by killing his magician of dark illusion. Just because I can. <laughs> sure. Negate my manticore. That's fine. Be my guest. I do find it funny that we went from the Blue Eyes deck to the Dark Magician deck in succession. Okay, just just get me out of here. I can't beat this. <laughs> oh my god. We can't beat the Dark Magician! Alright, I <laughs> can't beat Blue Eyes, can't beat Dark Magician. We we need some sort of miracle. And we already had a miracle. We had one miracle already. I don't think we're we're being bestowed with that amount of luck ever again. We drew the best card in our deck. I have been waiting for the big core MK3, and it's going to lose to fucking Labyrinth of all things, because set four pass, I don't think our deck has any chance of beating that. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm out. Beginning card case, rescue rabbit mate. Please no labyrinth sleeves. <laughs> this hand sucks. I guess we just hope that they don't attack and we draw into Manticore and that's good enough. I guess we have quick draw Synchron if we absolutely have to. I'm out. I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> I can't wait until the Master Duel devs, like, think that I'm reverse boosting, just trying to help everyone with their win rate. Or I'm trying to, like, get myself into the lowest possible rank possible. Does this game have SR? Is it going to just, like, eventually give me, like, skill-based matchmaking to give me people of similar skill to this deck. This hand's okay. I have two decently statted monsters, a Manticore I can tribute summon, and then two cards that do absolutely nothing. Just pass. Oh, damn it. Okay, we're up a card. That's another monster. I'll take it. Uh, f funny enough, I kind of want to save the Ganeshia for if I draw Beast Fangs, a, a sentence I never thought I'd utter in my life. Uh, let's just go Egghead. Get in, Egghead. Oh my god, it's Shield Wing all over again. Shield Warrior, I think, isn't one of the starter decks, though. So this could be a starter deck opponent, which means we have somewhat of a chance. Correction, we had somewhat of a chance. Okay, this is a tuner, isn't it? It's not. 
That is a... No, that isn't a tuner. I think I thought this was a tuner because I called it a tuner in a different series. <laughs> did they think Boost Warrior was a tuner like I did? If that's the case, we have a chance. Okay. Uh, this just gives all warriors 300. I have to go for it, right? I, I can't mess around here. I almost... I'm tempted to almost go for Manticore, but I can't let him keep monsters on the field is the problem. I have to I have to just go in. All right, let's uh let's try it. They don't have any responses. This could be our chance. Maybe they messed up. That is incredibly good for us. Uh-oh. Salvage Warrior. Isn't this one special summon? He doesn't have a tuner. Oh! <gasps> There's a chance. Oh! <gasps> doesn't this activate and Can't this go in damage step? It gains attack equal to the committed original attack of all monsters you control. Can't attack directly. This is declaring battle. So I'm not going to use this here. I'm going to use it now. Have this gain the attack. Goes up to 34. Kills the Salvage Warrior. No, don't have a response. Oh, the Shield Warrior. Who's going to keep it around? But I have the Manticore. I can clear it. I think that Snowman effect card only lasts till the end of the turn. It does. What a shit card. Okay. I never thought that was going to come up, but holy shit. We have a chance. It, that, that's amazing if we can clear the Salvage Warrior. Okay. So now we have a plan. So now we go... We summon the Manticore. We hope this sticks... I guess I can use this. This is a quick effect. Can't be destroyed by card effects. Yeah, we, we just go in. It worked before. We killed the Salvage Warrior. Anchor Drill, go! We might do it. We might do it. He doesn't have any monsters. He only has 1,600. Go! Whiff! Please! I don't know what you can draw to get out of this. Just concede! We've got this in the bag! Of course, one of these back rows is going to be memory of an adversary on the f <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Drowning mirror force! No! <laughs> Oh, it's just two. Okay, excuse me. It's just Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, my God. We got him down to 34. We were so close. That's like the best draw I could have been. Are you fucking kidding? No. That's literally the best card in his deck. Are you shitting me? He top decked it. How many do they play? You have got to be fucking kidding me. <sighs> I have things that out this, but I don't know if I'm going to draw them. I... <sighs> I cannot believe fucking Junk Synchron off the top out of everything it could have been. I got a wall up. I don't have, like, another tribute, but I just have to keep walling at this point. Even Ganeshia with, uh, Beast Fangs isn't enough to kill this. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. It was Junk Synchro. I'm so mad. I was so close. I'm keeping the Anchor Drill in attack, so he's forced to attack it with Junk Warrior. And then I'm hoping that his... If he has another monster, it's just weaker than this. It's not even a monster. If that would have been the card he drew instead of Junk Synchron, I literally won last turn. Yeah, let me Acid Trap hole my own monster. That seems like a great idea. Okay. He just has to keep whiffing. I have time because of life points. Uh, never mind. That time is up. Two back row. Back, I mean, to be fair, this was Graceful Revival, so if I attacked, he could bring something back. So he, I, I think he still would have died anyway. 
this is still winnable. This is still winnable. If I get like big core MK3, if I get Worm Yagen, if I get, there's a couple cards that actually win us this game. Oh my god, that is not one of them. Holy crap, that's a shit draw. As bad as this is, I think I have to bring out this Cannoneer to take out the Explorer because if he gets like another tuner, then this actually becomes unwinnable for us. Like, and it's not even close. So I think I have to try. I have to use my life as a resource here. This could backfire, and of course it didn't. I can't let him summon another Junk Warrior. That things just get way too out of hand if he does. Or if like, he gets like a tuner to go into like an eight or something. I, I don't know how bad that could get. He summoned that in attack position. If he tries to attack with Fortress Warrior into the set, we might actually be able to win this. Please, please. Oh, <gasps> he's attacking. He's attacking. What does he have? Damage hasn't gone. Th oh, because Fortress Warrior, he doesn't take damage. Isn't that what this thing does? You take no battle damage from attacks involving it. Fuck! No! And I could have summoned that if I kept two monsters! Are you shitting me? Oh my god, that's so bad. I have only like two tribute monsters in the whole deck at this point because I went through the other one's Manticore. I have 28 cards and I draw in succession the only two like tribute monsters that are still left in this deck. Granted, if it was anything else, it would have been equally as useless. I think I have to activate Temple of the Mind's Eye and then pass. The thinking here is that if he draws a monster big enough to hit over the Ganeshia, Junk Warrior only socks me for a thousand and it extends my clock. Meanwhile, if I draw a monster that's big enough to attack anything he summons that isn't Fortress Warrior, I could get in for a thousand, and I just have to do that twice. There's Speed Warrior. That's exactly what I was afraid of. The problem is the Fortress Warrior gets in for an extra four, but I save 13. I could also just activate this to try to live as well. I think I wait till I'm almost dead to use that. Because he might think he has game, and he might make a misplay. Not thinking I have a way to stop him. Speed Warrior goes down at the end of the turn. I have a lot of monsters that can kill Speed Warrior, and anything that just has over 900 can do 1,000 damage to him because of the temple. Come on. I have to have 26 cards in my deck that can hit over a Speed Warrior, and this cannot do it. Wow, that's that blows. Those have to be the worst three draws in succession that I've ever seen. Yep, that's a tuner too, so he can go into stuff. <sighs> that was our only chance. We needed to have a monster to hit into one of his things and then draw another monster to possibly like hit whatever his other thing was. We needed to have monster, attack, speed warrior, and then he summons like road warrior, attacks over our thing, gets some damage in, and then we draw another monster, attack his road warrior, and kill him. Oh, he can make nitro warrior. Nitro warrior is a seven, I'm almost certain. Yep. Wow. Unreal. Oh my god, and he had this. I don't know. Maybe I punted. Maybe I shouldn't have... Maybe there's a world where I shouldn't have been setting to block the hits. And I should have just temple the mind's eye. Use my life as a resource. Then I could have just hit him on the crackback, potentially. That's insane. That is insane. The crazy thing is, I'm still not dead here. I'm st I'm still alive. This is only 3,000. Unless he has a way to clear the temple. Wow. I am, I am fucking demoralized. That is depressing. That is the closest we have gotten to our first legitimate win 
Junk Synchron off the top. That is unreal.